has rhythm even though she has no melanin when she hears the song y'all the second runner up to the theme song she knows what to do right now you take my hand hold on tight don't get scared it's all right babe. all right y'all we're going in you should live inside your moment baby Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Are y'all seeing what I'm seeing in y'all? What y'all seeing me is in y'all. Real so bright when I'm near you, baby. I don't wanna stop your shine. Cause I love it when you shine. Don't you love it when you shine? Cause first we shine from the inside out. Okay? I just want to know you're mine. You're yourself first. You belong to you first. You're the reason why you shine. Y'all, we don't shine for other people. We shine for ourselves first. And then when we shine for ourselves, it becomes a function of shining for other people too. I did a video a couple months ago um, debuting this song, Shine. And if you remember, I really went into what your shine is, where it comes from, and why you need to claim your shine. So if you haven't seen that video, make sure you look at that video. I'm going to put that video, I'm going to pin that video in the comments. I'm actually going to do it this time. Welcome to the channel, everybody. Welcome to the channel. I love you, I love you, I love you. I miss you, I miss you, I miss you. I hope that you're feeling Peaceful, productive, prosperous. I hope you are living passionately, feeling passionately. I hope that you're in your power and on purpose and on point. And if you're not feeling those things, let's get at the reason why you're not. Let's recognize that it's only temporary. Let's understand that life is, has a pattern. It has seasons like the wheel of fortune. And sometimes you could be at the top of the mess. Sometimes you could be at the bottom of the mess. Sometimes you could be at the top of the mountain. And sometimes you can be at the bottom of it. But nothing lasts forever. No fire burns forever. So whatever it is that you're feeling, if you're not feeling like you're sitting on top of the world, just know that there is a day that is coming towards you where you will feel like you're on top of the world where you will feel like you are the world we are the world we are the children we are the ones that make a brighter day i mean y'all that was that was how good things were when we were growing <laughs> that is how good things were when we were coming up you know what i'm saying like simplicity kissy kiss and keep it simple stupid right Good music, good times. The days went slower. You had a, a ton of time to get things done. Now we're living in this fast paced matrix. And you have to know when to step out of the matrix. You get to choose when you step out of the matrix. And if you don't decide to step out of the matrix and you get and you stay in the matrix, you get to choose how you matriculate through the matrix. The matrix is a state of mind. You can create your own daggone matrix. Y'all, we got truth and confidence. You already know the truth. The root cause of these obstacles has crystallized in your mind. Be inspired about this new outlook in life. You have everything you need to succeed. Action and discipline are required. Like some of you all are seeing the truth of where you are in your life right now. And based on this message here, um, whatever it is that you're encountering, you really do have what you need to push through it. It's time to be confident. This card here talks about... Um, pushing forward and taking action. Sometimes when we are when we hit a snag or we hit a difficult time in our life, we're in a state of inertia. Inertia is I'm looking at my intelligent action quote over here on the wall where the eye stands. So I'm gonna get this because this is important, y'all. And I haven't forgotten about you, Jenny. I've just been doing teams, teams, teams. But I do want to go over this with you because it's important. Because we're talking about discipline 
in action. And this is something that I use for my clients. And before I hit 51, y'all, I used to have this memorized. But I tell you, all types of things start to change when you hit the big 5-0. You'll become mm, very absent-minded. I shouldn't be kissing you because you've been filthy the last few days. Oh, be gone, Albie, be gone. Go. She loves music. She loves when I get hyped up, she gets hyped up. That's why she's crazy, y'all, because I'm half crazy, too. So, taking intelligent action is here we're talking about moving through your obstacles by first recognizing that nothing lasts forever, meaning no fire will burn forever, which means that if you happen to be going through a difficult time, it too shall pass. If you happen to feel like you're in a dark night of the soul and it's been going on for damn ever, it's going to pass. Be conscious. One of my... um. First quotes when I started this channel had to do with allow allowing the fire to scorch and purify you and move you through the difficulty. All right. Fire comes through to burn up the forest to create fertile land. So whatever is the fire in your life, let it burn. But burn it all down, baby. Burn it all down. Y'all remember that movie Fire Firestarter with Drew Barrymore? That used to be my favorite movie when I was a kid. I was captivated by her, what is it, pirate? What was it when, when you set things on fire? I loved that. Like I actually thought that I could have that power. Anyway, I digress. But it's a big piece, y'all. It's a big piece to recognize when you're in a difficulty what the point of the difficulty is and that the difficulty will end and that the difficulty is in alignment with the rhythm of life, which means that eventually everything that goes up has got to come down, right? Everything that's at this side of the wheel has to roll back around. We can't have winter without spring. We can't have summer without fall. So it's important to understand as you move through whatever challenges or whatever slow periods that you're dealing with right now, move through them consciously. Consciously holding the vision, holding the vibration, just standing and having faith and knowing that those things that you were on the path to are still moving towards you, that it is important that you get whatever lessons that you're supposed to be getting at this particular juncture and just surrender, submit, submit to it. But here you're being told to be confident, okay, to hold fast to something and to move when you need to move, to take the action when you need to take the action and to have discipline. So the action I'm clarifying for you is intelligent action, which is what I talk about with my clients, all right? I inspired and intuitive. I do not move. I don't care what it is. I do not move in my life, y'all. Even the things I'm forced to do, I do it when I feel inspired to do it because I believe everything is going to work out the way I want it to. I mostly don't care what it is. If I have to do something for my girls and it's got a timeline, different story. But it must be intuitive and it must be inspired. Meaning, I got to feel it in here. If I don't feel it in here, I ain't doing it. I don't care who I'm supposed to be doing it for. I don't. I, I just can't live like that because I spent too many li years living like that and it burned me out. So the I is for intuitive and inspired. The N, whatever that action is, it never wastes time. The T is task oriented. You know exactly what you're doing. You know that when you complete that task, you're going to get a result from it. It is meaningful. It is significant, okay? You're not just doing busy work. You're not just wasting time. It's very task-oriented, which means you've also broken it down into bite-sized pieces. It evolves you. Whenever you do something, you should learn and grow from it. And sometimes when you do something, it should evolve you, especially if it is something you had to lean into because you were fearful. Oh, which is the next one, leans into fear and doubt. Those actions, which are bona fide, intelligent actions are those actions that you lean into in the midst of, in spite of being afraid and feeling doubtful. In fact, those are the actions that will grow you and evolve you the most. It's got to be goal-directed. Again, task-oriented, goal-directed. We don't do anything without a focus. It's got to be a rhyme or reason to it. There's an objective that we are trying to obtain that is connected to a larger goal. It energizes you and simultaneously sends out positive vibrations and intentions into the universe. Why? Because it's got to be something you feel good and excited about, even if it's the type of excitement that makes you feel fearful because you're leaning into fear and doubt. Because when you feel good about it, it puts a message out there. 
that brings back more of that in return. Never do anything begrudgingly. I don't care what it is, even if it's paying a bill. Be grateful for the bill and do your best to feel some sense of gratitude, if not excitement for it, because you got to say, well, this, 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 this internet bill is high, but guess what? It's the internet that allows me to reach my YouTube people. I got to pay this credit card bill for this stuff because I had a good time when I did that shopping. Look at all those beautiful clothes and all those beautiful gifts and all these beautiful incentives that I was able to purchase. Whatever the bill is, it's your electric bill. You were warm this past winter. Find a way to find the sunshine in the things that can feel like a drudgery. And it negates negativity and inertia. And that is what I was talking about before getting this list. Inertia is when something, what is that the, uh, That law in um, science class, maybe fifth grade? A thing that is at rest will remain at rest until something that with an equal and opposing force acts on it. You will remain on in rest and not move if you get used to sitting in comfort and not being getting out of your comfort zone. We all have a natural inertia and that inertia keeps us still. It keeps us from moving. That inertia is why this table is not moving. All right. That inertia is why this chair is not moving. In order for this chair to start to move, I've got to um, create an, an equal and opposing force to get it to move. You have to do that in your life. Otherwise, you'll stay in your comfort zone. You won't move. You won't grow. And eventually, you will decay and you will die. So don't expect not to have to push up against resistance. Because resistance, in a manner of speaking, is inertia. The tendency for something to remain at rest. Which is essentially the tendency to not do anything at all. So be mindful of that. And last but not least, it transforms you in some way and makes you stronger and more confident. That's like the evolution. It transforms you. Each time I do something, y'all, I'm a person that acts on inspired action. That's where this stuff came from. And by the way, these are the fragrance balls. They are amazing. This will hopefully become the number one fragrance product. And that's this one here. And uh, for those of you that are already ordering, you get two samples of some type. One at a minimum, but mostly two in your, um, in your orders. But I'll be doing giveaways and I'm going to be doing a flash sale more than likely one day this week. I'm going to announce it on my YouTube channel, the Sister Locks channel. I'm also going to announce it here. It's only going to be about 12 hours. It'll probably be the only one of two that I'll do all year. Simply just cannot do them that often. But take a look at this. This is the fragrance putty. It's like a putty. This, the logo or the, the mantra for this. Well, the tagline is burn twice, never once. This you burn twice. This uh, smell is genital Naima. These are the fragrance balls. This will give you a dry, uh, clean smoke, a little bit different than the Umsi smoke with a different smell. These two have the similar smell. Um, it's light, it's fruity. Again, it stays, it sticks, especially if you decide to burn it in a bathroom or in your closet and just let... When you're moist, when you're wet or your hair is wet, just let it stick on to you or in an area that needs a cleansing or purification or just when you want to relax. This, you're going to burn very, very slow the first time, just enough to dry it out. The second time, you'll burn it on charcoal. This, you can burn it very, very slow on something, but you're going to have more fun with this if you like the charcoal and you let it get almost a third to two thirds of the way gray and then you put this on it and you break off a tiny piece you don't need the whole thing you just break off a little piece and you put it on there and oh how do I but <clears throat> I digress but I needed to let you all know that so for the intelligent action you got to feel good about it it's got to grow you it's got to transform you when you do something that you've been procrastinating or something you didn't really want to do and you do it you feel like a winner you build a new um, confidence starting point. It gives you more courage. It also gives you an energy and, an, and a sort of a momentum to go and do the next thing. So this is a time uh, that you need to be honest with yourself about what it is that you need to be doing or what it is that you need to be moving through that could have you stuck or feel like a bit of an obstacle. That's what the message is saying. Uh, this may have to do with you needing to go in a new direction because we have the new direction down there. 
right under that, I saw New Journey, and I happen to see Lovers and Partnerships. So some of you could do could have to do with business or a partnership, but it's some step in a new direction that you need to be going in that feels a little bit difficult for you right now, or maybe you just happen to be in a bit of a funk. This is saying, take a look at the truth of your situation. Take a real look at those obstacles. Recognize that they are not really obstacles. They are just things that you need to see in another light. And then put on it decisive action, discipline, and movement. And that's when we do this intelligent action. We lean into fear and doubt. We take the first step. That's the only step that we are responsible for. We're not responsible for everything else. After we take the first step, we can then respond to whatever spirit is sending our way. Okay, let's see what other messages need to come through. Then we're going to close out. I love you guys. I hope that you are feeling good. If not, I hope that you're feeling better tomorrow and that you wake up with a more cheerful countenance. Welcome to the month of March again. Um, for those of you who haven't listened to your theme song... Listen to your theme song. You're supposed to be doing that every day. Listen to that theme song, y'all. It's going to keep your feet on the ground. It's going to keep you out of here. It's going to put the energy in your body. It's going to remember to, it's going to remind you to remember who you are. Victory. That's all I need to see with master on the bottom. You're becoming a master over some area of your life. And that's what this most current dilemma, obstacle, delay, challenge, roadblock, whatever it is, that's what this is, is helping to hone you for, to become a master over a particular area of your life. Maybe you're becoming a master over your discernment. Maybe you've had a hard time. You keep drinking it, dragging in stray cats. Maybe you're becoming a master or you're over, over how to get the job you want or how to communicate who you are. Maybe you're working on your elevator pitch. Maybe you're considering how you want to bring that new business into fruition. Maybe you're become a ma becoming a master um, by studying something that has to do with the stock market. Whatever it is, what you're dealing with right now is concerned with you mastering you. All right, we have the victory card here. It's a beautiful message here. Um, I want to read it to you. Congratulations on your victory. You have pursued a goal to fruition. This is fulfillment, completion, and the arrival from a long journey. Remain connected with your bigger mission in life and prepare to embark on your next adventure. The war has already been won. Okay? This is letting you know that whatever it is that you've been working on or that you've been doing or that you've been waiting for, that you've been hoping for, you've already won that. So please envision that so that you can speed up the manifestation of it in real form, in a concrete fashion. You've already won. You already have had the victory. The victory over uh, succumbing to, not succumbing to your desires or self-mastery or some aspect of whatever it is that you've been working on. The victory is here. Okay, and when the victory is here, look at that. This is, gives you cause to separate, to celebrate. Let's separate yourself from difficulty. Separate yourself from uh, unhappiness, from a, a state of just feeling a little uh, or feeling some, some sense of dissatisfaction, frustration, which can really make us be in a state of ingratitude. This is fulfillment. This is all of your desires coming true. This is feeling happy. This is feeling high vibrational. This is a state of celebrating for the state of your life. Okay, this is where you are. And look, temperance on the bottom, after a long time, after a long path, a difficult path of trying to transmute your situations, your circumstances, trying to make the best out of situations that have been difficult, trying to course correct and get everything right, trying to turn water into wine, lemons into lemonade. It's been a long time, okay? It's been a long, long time. I'm coming, but I know change gonna come. Change is here. Feel the change so that you bring the change in. Remember, we must believe those things that we want to achieve. We're not going to see something come into fruition until we believe in it. And until we believe in it, we cannot achieve it. So bear in mind, it is this that brings about this. And that is the most difficult thing for us to retrain ourselves to do and to practice in this third dimensional matrix that we are in. You have to create the matrix in your mind that allows you to bring about the change that you want to see in your outer world. I promise you, 
That's the secret that God, that spirit, that the creator has been trying to get everybody to see. That's the secret that Jesus was trying to get us to see. That's the secret that many of the sages, prophets, and saints that were, were trying to get us to see since the beginning of time, that the kingdom is within, okay? It all starts here first. Before I can change anything, I have to go inside and work on me first. So this victory, and this could not be showing up for those of you who resonate with this if it's not in your pattern, if it's not in your energetic vortex, if it's not somehow connected to you, it could not show up. But it's here and it's been a long time coming and you've been patient and you've worked hard and you've participated in all types of personal alchemy and mastery, but you have mastered it and it is here. So celebrate whatever this means to you. It's going to mean something different to everybody, but whatever it is, it's around the corner. So have faith. Don't keep asking why is something taking so long. If you keep asking why something's taking so long, that means you don't have the belief. And if you don't have the faith of a mustard seed, then you don't have anything. So when you have that faith, when you have that belief, you don't even need patience. In all honesty, y'all, patience is for people who don't have strong belief. They have to be patient. They have to hunker down. They have to believe, believe, believe. So use that as a measure of what you still need to do with regard to your levels of belief and faith. I hope that this message resonates for you in some sort of way. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. If those of you who are new to the channel, if you haven't purchased my book, Manifesting Your Masterpiece, or Ms. Lauren's book up here, The Assignment, Make sure you get those. They're on Amazon. For the rest of you, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and let me know what you got out of this video. I hope it wasn't posting too late for you. I love y'all. Have a beautiful evening. Bye.